Today I'll be showing you how to make better and smoother roller coasters in Theme Park Tycoon 2 with the advanced editor. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe as only 2% of viewers are actually subscribed and I am so close to 1k. Anyways, without any further delays, let's get into it. I'm going to use the multi-launch coaster for our testing example thing, I guess. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some boosters real quick so we can have an actual layout. The number one tip for making smoother roller coasters is using the pivot offset. Make sure it's always in the positives because if you do it in the negatives, weird things will start happening to the track like this. If you're trying to make like a outer banked um, pre-lift or something, I it might be acceptable then, but I would just probably keep it at zero or do the positive anyway. So let's say you want to make like a zero G roll or a heartline roll. You would pump this thing all the way up to four. Obviously three or two is good too. I don't usually use two or three, I mostly use four for my roller coasters. And you'll see that the track is not coming out like it would usually. The track is rotating around the middle of this blue circle I have here, which is causing it to have a heart line. So I made this with just the pivot offset, obviously it's not the smoothest right now, you'll need to take time doing that. But it's pretty good so far. You know, pretty smooth. Obviously, I took it at a smaller speed, but that's also kind of required to have smooth roller coasters. Which brings me to my second point. Don't make your rides too fast, but also don't make them too slow. Take the time in trying to adjust the speed if you've got the operations game pass. If you don't, then you've got to change something with your layout. But speed also contributes to smoothness. So, next thing I'm going to bring up, uh, the auto smooth. So, we're going to go into a another boost section all right so let's say you're coming straight at the ground and you you kind of have to weird looking i guess that's where the auto smooth comes into play because you can turn off the auto smooth and you can do rotate spline and then you can like do something like this and you can move the spline and you can make it a little more graceful into another element like so and then you do that and then your element coming back around looks so much better obviously you can do some really weird things and make your rides rough with these so don't overuse it or do something stupid with it you know make it look good but yeah that's one thing I would recommend also if you ever mess up use the reset node because sometimes it's kinda hard to reshape and you just need to start over reset node let's say you do something weird and you make weird track or whatever reset node will completely reset the track for you to start over again without having to delete anything so i'm going to continue on with the rest of the layout all right i haven't really finished this ride but i just want to show you what i got done with the tips i've shown you so into the roll pretty smooth and then into some boosters which will lead us into our next elements as you can see really smooth and here we go into the roll the track is a little messed up but Overall, the elements are very smooth and fun. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know what else I can make tutorials on as I'm always looking to help out other Theme Park Tycoon 2 players get better at the game. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!